Welcome back everybody to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. I've done this before, but I've been asked and asked and asked to do it again, so I'll do it again. This is literally all the tools that I use to get a broken manifold bolt out. Um, you see that one's broken pretty flush. Uh, I have my good, I think these are like uh, 420, I don't know. They're brand name, I think they're Crescent. They're good players. Anyway, um, I don't use a bolt, I don't use a nut, I don't use a washer, I don't use anything but my welder. So, let me uh, show you guys here. If you don't have a welder, and you have a friend with a welder, you know, it's probably worth a case of beer or something. I mean, nobody likes to be a pain or a burden or whatever. But asking somebody with a welder to do this for you is not such a big deal. Uh, don't keep oily rags around while you're welding because then you'll have a fire and then your wife will come out and be like what's that smell and you'll have to lie hit it again. A big part of why this works is the heat. That's it, she's out. Um, I don't know how long that took me, three minutes or something. I'll go ahead and flip this over. 
because I know in the comments people are going to be like, what about your deck surface, your deck surface, your deck surface, because I drug it all over, all that crap. It's fine. Um, everything's fine. Nothing wrong with my deck surface. Nothing wrong with anything. Nothing wrong with this hole. You can clean that flange up a little bit and she's ready to go for another 300,000 miles. So, until next time, this is JR. Thanks for watching. That's how you get your busted manifold bolts out on your LS. See ya.